Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Funda. This is in continuation with my last video where I have shown you what is this new feature and you know how we can enable the notifications in our app. And in today's video, we will see how we can generate a notification. So uh, to show you how we can generate it, we I will be using CRM Wrist Builder. But before that, I just wanted to let you know about this entity. So this is my trial instance. So I came to this default solution and this is the notification entity with name app notification. So uh, whatever records that we are going to generate, it will be generated in this notification entity. And as of now, the feature provides us that if I have to generate a notification for a particular user, then a notification should be created for that user and for this entity, the owner of the record should be that user. So if I want to create a notification for me, then I should have one record in this notification entity. The owner should be me so that a notification will be available here in this notification panel. So uh, this is the new entity and it is also having one field and in that field we can set the expiry date of the notification. Because this notification uses the database, that is the reason we have to make sure that we are going to delete this notification records once it is not in used. So example, uh, this feature by default sets the date expiry date of this notification entity for any record to 14 days. So after 14 days, this will be deleted. So uh, that's how we can set the date and after that expiry date, it will be deleted. So this is the second point of this new entity. Uh, so in my next video, I'll show you how we can generate the notifications. So this was all about the notification entity and we are going to explore each and every field of this new entity. So stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.